it's Sarah with House Copper and today is a cooking and copper day and this is what I look like when I'm not in the shop. I actually like dress like a normal person I wear jewelry. Um, so, um, but anyway, I am going to make a spaghetti tonight but I'm gonna do it with um, zucchini noodles which you can of course substitute for regular noodles um, and zucchini noodles for me and my husband. I'm gonna do regular noodles for my children. I'm actually gonna use bucatini, which is one of my favorite noodles. It's the spaghetti, but it's a little thicker with the hole down the middle. And then I'm gonna be making my own um, spaghetti sauce using canned tomatoes from our garden because we're uh, it's getting to be slightly spring. We just had snow again yesterday, even though it is um, March. Um, I'm a believer that we're gonna get snow and or we're gonna be done with snow and we're going to have a uh, summer. So um, I have to start using up whatever I have in the root cellar, which means a handful of onions and whatever potatoes are not already um, budding out and I can replant this year. So, um, but we definitely have some tomatoes to use up. So we're gonna be doing homemade spaghetti sauce with uh, meat. And then again, you can choose to do the zucchini noodles or the regular noodles. Um, as the base. You could probably even do quinoa if you're into that kind of thing. I just like the noodle feel. And then, um, and so I'm gonna use a couple of my own spice blends. I'm not gonna use like a traditional spaghetti sauce uh, blend. And, um, and also because we don't always do meat, if you don't wanna do meat, they have some really great um, uh, plant-based ground beef options in the freezer sections of most grocery stores. So you can do any combination of this. It's literally spaghetti and, uh, and meat sauce um, in copper pots. And I will also say that um, because I get this question a lot, the reason I'm doing this one is because I so often get questions about the acidity of, um, of, of tomatoes and tomato sauce and tomato paste in tin line copper, which is of course what I, <laughs> fix, repair, build, and spend the most of the time working with. You can absolutely do any tomato-based meal in a tin line copper pot. The one thing that you do not want to do is store that tomato-based meal in that tin line copper pot. It will, between the spices and the tomatoes themselves, that oxalic acid, like that'll all, um, it'll all eat at the tin layer. So you can't like take your tin line crock pot and put it in your fridge and leave it there for a week and take out just some soup, you know, every day. By the time you get to the bottom of that, it will be all, the tin will look all mottled and gross and bad. So don't do, don't store in this, but you can absolutely cook in it because for the short term, tin is non-reactive. So go ahead, roast, cook, use tin line copper in the oven and on the stove with tomatoes. So without further ado, before the kids get home, I'm gonna see how far I can get on this recipe and um, enjoy. 